Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. We have a new air quality sensor in the market called MICS5524. This sensor can detect dangerous gases like carbon monoxide, methane, ethanol, propane, butane, hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide, and ammonia. Not only detecting the gases, but it can also measure and calculate the concentration of these gases. In this tutorial, we will see how we can use this sensor with a microcontroller like Arduino. We will wire up the sensor first and then write some simple C++ code. The code will help us retrieve the different gas concentrations that can be displayed on serial screen. We may introduce some gases or aerosols to change the gas concentration. So, let's begin with today's guide. Let's take a look at this sensor. This gas sensor module is an advanced sensing device engineered to detect a range of gaseous substances in various environments. At the core of this module is a highly sensitive metal oxide semiconductor, MOS layer, that is specifically designed to respond to gases such as carbon monoxide, alcohol, acetone, formaldehyde, and hydrogen. It operates between 4.9 to 5.1 volt DC with a power of 0.45 watt. Here is the list of measuring ranges for different gases. It measures the gas concentration using the analog output. It has four pins which are VCC, GND, enable pin and analog output pin. Let's connect the sensor with Arduino now. I am using Arduino Nano for the demo. Here is a connection diagram. Connect the enable pin to D2 and the analog output pin to the A0 of Arduino. I used a breadboard and jumper wire for connection. As you can see here, I have placed the sensor on breadboard and will be spraying gases to testing over here. Since it's an analog sensor, so calibration and coding are complicated. Thankfully, DF Robot has developed a library for this. Now let's move to the programming part. First, we include the DF Robot MICS library. Then we define calibration time. The default calibration time is 3 minutes. You may increase it for better results. Then we define the ADC pin and enable pin. Then we initialize the sensor instances for ADC and power pin. Under the setup section, we initialize the serial communication. Then we check whether the sensor is connected or not. We also check the current power state of the sensor. This is used to put the sensor into sleep mode and to wake up it as well. We then wait for the sensor to complete its warm-up time. The warm-up time enables the sensor for getting ready. Under the loop section, we use the library function to read all these gas data from the sensor. Then we print the gas concentrations to the serial monitor. Here, then we wait for one second before the next reading. You can uncomment this line to put the sensor to sleep mode after each reading. That's all from the coding part. Upload the code to the Arduino board. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor. The sensor will warm up for a while. Then it will start calibrating depending on the time set in the code. Typically, the sensor requires a warm-up period often around 24 to 48 hours after first powered up and specific calibration to environmental conditions to ensure accuracy. Once calibrated, place the sensor in different environmental conditions to see how it responds. As you can see here, the serial monitor has started displaying the gas concentrations values. To test the different gases, I spread perfume on the sensor. The sensor reading is drastically changed. You can check it for a long period of time on different conditions. Well, that's all from the tutorial part today. The written tutorial for this sensor is given in the website article. Comment down in the comment section below if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.